close your eyes, and always start with thoughts of goodwill. To remind yourself of why you're meditating. You're meditating for the sake of your happiness, a happiness that doesn't place any burdens on other people, because you have goodwill for yourself and goodwill for them too. Sometimes it's hard to have goodwill for people, but you, it's for your own protection that you cultivate thoughts of goodwill. At times like this one, it's relatively easy. Nobody's impinging on you. Nobody's doing anything to you right now. So it's easy to think thoughts of goodwill. But you're doing this so that at the times when it becomes really hard, they'll be there for you. It'll become a habit. The Buddha talks about cases in which you've been pinned down by groups of people and they're sawing off your limbs. And he says, even then you should have goodwill for them. In other words, you, if you have ill will for them, if they kill you, then you're going to try, want to come back and get your revenge. So goodwill is not just a, a nice, soft, feel-good kind of meditation. It actually requires strength. So in really difficult situations, you can still have goodwill for the people you're dealing with. And John Lee talks about a situation in which he, as he said, he spread thoughts of goodwill with no holds barred. In other words, it's a battle. Of course, the battle is not with the other people. The battle is with your own feelings. People do things to you or people to, to people you love. They really mistreat them. And it's hard not to want to get back. But you have to remind yourself, getting back doesn't really solve the problem. It just continues the karmic cycle around and around. So that's where the battle is. So your goodwill has to be strong. You have to protect it all the time. And as the Buddha said, just as a mother would protect her only child, you protect your goodwill. And that requires strength, which is why after we spread thoughts of goodwill, then we move to the breath. So the mind has a good, solid place to stay inside. Coming from a sense of well-being, it's a lot easier to feel goodwill when you have a sense of happiness inside. Another analogy from a John Lee, the difference if you don't have any sense of well-being inside, you spread thoughts of goodwill, it's like turning on a water faucet where there's no water. Just air comes out. If you have that sense of well-being, then it's like then water comes out. The air may be cool, but it's not nearly as refreshing, as nourishing as the water. So try to develop this sense of well-being inside as you breathe. As it does give strength, so that your thoughts, words, and deeds will really be an expression of goodwill for all the people around you. 